seems there's a lot that secretive House Speaker Mike Madigan can't remember. That's what CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely found after pouring through five hours of deposition testimony for a lawsuit filed by an opposing candidate. Powerful House Speaker Mike Madigan's been Democratic boss of the 13th Ward for half a century, 50 years. Maybe that's why his memory is so bad. Testifying under oath, Madigan was asked, do you have any employees who work for you as committeeman of the 13th Ward? His reply, I don't remember. Follow up, I'm asking whether you as 13th Ward Democratic committeeman have any staff you pay for their services. Answer, today, I don't remember if we do today, we may have in the past. Another follow up, do you know how many people you have on staff as Democratic committeeman of the 13th Ward? The answer, no. Attorney Anthony Parika was asking the questions. I think he performed as expected. Cagey, secretive, careful, cautious, reserved. Parika questioned Madigan as attorney for Jason Gonzalez, who lost a 2018 primary to Madigan. In a federal lawsuit, Gonzalez contends Madigan entered two sham Hispanic candidates in the race to split the vote. I spoke with him today via Skype. That there was this just sort of uh, categorical denial of everything. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. In fact, during the five hour deposition, the transcript shows Madigan answered, I don't know or don't remember more than 100 times. Parika also deposed some of Madigan's key aides, including Sean DeKramer, dismissed last year as a Democratic Party aide after sexual harassment allegations. DeKramer also suffered memory failure when asked why he filed ballot petitions for one of the alleged sham candidates, Graziella Rodriguez. His answer, because someone asked me to. Question, who? Answer, I don't know. I don't recall. Follow up, is there anything that would jog your memory? The answer, no, it was a while ago. By the way, Joe Barboza was the other alleged sham candidate. The lawsuit alleges neither Rodriguez nor Barboza did anything to campaign. But there's current, no current law that clearly rules out the practice, which is why it's a common practice by old line Democratic incumbents. If Gonzalez wins the suit, it was set a new precedent. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Erica. All right, Derek, thank you.